What is good on guys? This is Johnny here, or Fresh Camp Town on YouTube, or James or Ravage on 17, or YouTube on Desk and Xbox Live. And today I actually want to show you a new program I've been working on you know, for my thousands post on 17s.com. And uh, yeah, guys, um, that's really what I'm going to show you right now. Um, this program will be available and posted there in a second. I'm actually going to leave a um, link to it in the description of the video. Alright, so uh, this is what it's called. It's called the OGMs T7 Character Command Tool. And um, yeah, it, it's really not like a really super awesome program or anything. It's just kind of thing I've been working on, which comes quite in handy if you want to make your um, CMD.txt file. So as you can see, it's open right now, and as you can see, it says OGMs oh, T7 Character Command Tool. And uh, what we have right here is the basic uh, UI, the user interface. Um, as I said, it's nothing too special. Alright, so I'm just going to start and uh, go to the About box. And um, yeah, so with this application, it is way easier to create cmd.txt files. Alright, I'm going to change that with character commands. If you need any support or if you find bugs, report them on ogmsmodding.com. Um, this program was made by John Manson, also known as OGMs. So, Ravage, Seven Sons, Asian, Desk, and Xbox Live, and Fresh Come Town YouTube. Hello, guys. Alright, now, anyway, um, so, um, so that's basically how it looks like. So uh, you can actually choose a custom class right here. So uh, let's say we wanna have a. I, I'm gonna add a lot more to this. This was literally take took me about um, one hour or something. So it's nothing too special. And then you can actually add colors uh, to like for the to the custom class text box, for example. Let's say we wanna have a nice little green text right here. So we're gonna have a green text and uh, we're gonna put it on custom class seven. Let's say that says uh, seven cents. Alright, and then uh, we're going to have a uh, text on the center of the screen. Oops, and we're going to have that in blue. And you should say www.ugm. Oh, exactly. Oh, God. I'm sorry. It's pretty late. Um, .com. Ooh, nice. I have a character limit, which is totally not helpful right now. Oh, God. Alright, sorry about this failed presentation of the program. Then text on bottom left, and uh, you want to have that in red. So we're gonna put um, ravages, for example. Oops, ravages. And then uh, we can actually set a vision. Uh, let's see. Let's say, for example, we want to have uh, the favela escape vision. <laughs> then we can click in here and uh, the example text disappears and what we can actually do is like I'm going to show you how to set divers uh, in this tool so you just need to put a G without the S or anything you just put a G compass show enemies for example and uh, then uh, one for true and no um, no uh, uh, come on no quotation marks it is and then we can go on to the next program. So what you can actually do, you can go to the list I posted on um, my website, for example, or in Seven Sins as well. So um, we should have uh, this revised T7 Diva list. It's on Seven Sins as well. I'm gonna leave a description. Um, I'm gonna leave the link to this in the description of the video. Sorry about that. Uh, all right, computer is pretty laggy right now because I'm recording and uh, running another operating system, obviously. Now, anyways, so let's say, for example, we want to have um, unlimited sprint. So uh, we want to have that, Get that here. And now we have unlimited sprint, and we're going to have some some of the pink text and stuff. Pretty nice as well. We put that here. All right. Now, uh, one thing we obviously want to have is a uh, active action. Now, how active action works in this program is kind of tricky. So we have active action. And uh, no quotation marks anything. Uh, and now we have a uh, online game. One xb live underscore private match zero. And then let's say for example the d time limit is five. And then we're gonna set the active action. And now this is where the tricky part comes in because we actually need to set it like this. There we need actually quotation marks. So I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of sorry about this, but um there was no other way I could get that to work, and then it looks basically like that, and then we can put them like, of course we need to put the time limit, 
um, there you know, no time limit. And then pff, you can add uh, whatever you want. Let's say, for example, you want to have a um, one of the rainbow vision, for example. I know you actually said that as an SD verb, but I'm just saying. All right, so this is basically it. And uh, now, once you're finished, you actually just have to uh, generate the code, and it's actually going to generate the whole code for you. As you can see, it's going to set the active action. And it's going to add that at the end as well. So uh, there's no need to worry about any of that. And um, yeah, so this is basically how the program works. And then what you can actually do is you can create a cmd.txt file and you can edit the code if you want to. Um, so if there are like any box or whatever you see right here, then you can just edit that straight away. And uh, yeah, so uh, you can also create a cmd.txt file as I already said. So um, well, let's go ahead and do that. We have this open file dialog and we're going to put it on the desktop. And uh, now we are going to save it. It's going to say your cmd.txtv file has been created successfully. It is available at, and then it's going to display the program path. And thanks for using the OGMC7 character command tool by OGMC7 ravages or dasq. Alright, perfect. Now we're going to close this and see our cmd.txtv file right here. Now we can open it and as you can see, this is the whole um, cmd.txt file we made a second ago. So this is pretty nice and pretty useful, I guess. Um, I hope you like this. It uh, took a little bit of time, about an hour or so. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. My name is Johnny, or Jim Farabages on 7th. Oh, I'm not going to say all my names. Alright, so see you guys later.